Hey everyone, this is uh, RedAlert37 here, and I'm going to show you how to use some of the Live Support 3 beta stuff. Even though it's beta, don't be fooled, it is more or less fully working. So, instead of there being something called Live Support, it's under um, Custom Add on Framework, and it's going to be Live Support Generators. There are a number of different ones, um, and all we need for the basics is an air compressor which is that one um, some energy so so we'll use a medium wind generator come in different sizes and for and then instead of coolant you need nitrogen and water uh, this is a bit more realistic and um, a bit more fun if you ask me. Right, now for some storage devices. Let's make a large energy cell, some of the batteries. This one could hold up to a million energy. And let's make an oxygen tank, a nitrogen tank. As you can see, they're all labelled. And a water tank, I'll just use a medium, so you really don't need the large. Anyway, but instead of just linking them up to each other, this is where it's different. You go on to resource distribution, and this one's called a resource node. Click on that, find large node, or you could use others. I use large node because it's, well, the largest. Put that there. Go on, I'll use smart link tool. Link all these up ones. But instead of linking them to the individual things, you link them up directly to the node. Everything goes to the node. And it actually shows you how much you've got, the maximum, and what you've got. So let's link up these generators. There. And as you can see, that's these wind generators will only work on planets that have an atmosphere like before and it's easier to tell instead of it saying on and off which it still does it'll either spin or won't spin let's turn these on right stop sound and as you can see we are generating resources everything remember goes to this node Alright, so let's get the suit dispenser. Put it there. Link that to the node also. Yeah. And I'm going to show you something that's new. Get an atmospheric probe. And before I used to say, like, um, say there's oxygen one, um, energy one, etc. Now there's these O2 level, CO2 level, nitrogen level, hydrogen level, vacuum, pressure and temperature. But instead of oxygen just being like 1, it's the percent. Same with the CO2, nitrogen and hydrogen. The vacuum is how much nothingness there is on the planet. So you just add all the other values together. Um, but if it gets above a certain point, you'll start dying. And if oxygen drops below 5%, you'll also start dying. It's a key thing to remember. And that is the more or less the basics of Life Support 3, because now that I have those, I can actually go to all the planets. As you can see, there are on storage devices numerous different sizes, um, etc. One other type of generator, I think this is a lot better, these so solar panels. It's huge, large, medium, and small. And Phoenix props have actually made their own versions of many storage devices as well. There's a large, medium, small. And these all have immense generating capacities. Link them all up to the node. And as you can see, the energy level is rocketing up. Or at least it should be. There we are. Water it goes up extremely, extremely, extremely quickly. 
but um, however if you go into space it'll still say right here at the bottom <coughs> air coolant and uh, energy instead of water so red alert 37 with a quick look into the um, life support 3 if you go into the um, if you look into these whoops the um, description on the side it will give you information where to download these keep an eye out for my other mods I'll be doing the more in-depth look into this life support 3